them question my directions, eh? <laughs> Big car, small brain, that's the problem. Don't know what the world's coming to. <laughs> well, will you stop playing that thing? <laughs> Chuckles, P and B reporting for weekend training. We're going on a special mission for MI7. Sir. There's no need for that. You can call me Barry, everybody else does. No, you call me, sir. Don't you know anything? I know that toast always falls butter side down. <sighs> I don't know you two any good at paperwork. I'm all behind. I had noticed. I beg your pardon. Oh, he doesn't mean you're all behind. Uh, you've got plenty out in front as well, haven't you? <laughs> I think it's time you settled into your quarters. Now I'll speak to both of you later now. Get out! I thought I said, get out. Sorry. I beg your pardon. I thought you were somebody else. A minister without portfolio. Delighted, I'm sure. To what do I owe this pleasure? We're here for the presentation. Presentation? The minister has been looking forward to it for weeks. Of course. Tell me, uh, what, uh, what does the minister expect to be presented with? Nothing in particular. Mm -hmm. The minister likes to be surprised. Good, good, good. Uh, j would you just wait there for one minute? <clears throat> but it had better be good, or he could close this whole place down. Right. Right. Oh, there you are. Don't suppose there's any chance of a softer mattress, is there? Look, you two, I need your help. We have a very important visitor with us here today. Who is it? It's a minister without portfolio. And I have to find him some kind of a present. Why don't you give him the portfolio? Yeah. Oh, I know. Yes, <laughs> I've got it. Yes, the very thing. Now, which one of you two wants to be leader? Me. Me, sir. I'll do it. I'm a leader. Me. Very well. <laughs> that means you're in command. Hey, I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Me neither. Oh, that means you get your own room in the barracks. All right, I'll try and live with it. And there's me thinking I was going to be the leader. You are. <laughs> You are. What am I supposed to do with this? Mm. Well, lead it. That donkey is to be presented to our visitor. To that end, I want you to look after it as always your brother. And it doesn't mean dangle it by the ankles from the top bunk. Groom him, feed him, sing to him. But above all, don't let it out of your sight. Understood? Understood. Oh, by the way, word of warning. Likes to eat trousers. Well, he won't eat mine. Keep an eye on him, Chief, eh, will you? <laughs> he seems ever so keen, but uh, not very bright. <laughs> well, listen, I must be off. Uh, I left everybody in the office. Now, uh, give me five minutes for the formalities, then fetch the donkey over for the presentation. Will do. Excellent. Good man. Lovely. Well, everything's under control. Cup of tea before the uh, presentation. Oh, oh. There you are. Just a minute. Where's the donkey? Relax. I put him in that little room at the end of the hut. That's my room. What about the smell? Oh, don't worry about that. He'll soon get used to it. You were told to look after it. What happens if it wanders off? Wanders off? That donkey is as safe as houses. Oops. Now you've done it. That's a gift for the minister and you've gone and lost it. Well, he can't have gone far. Find it or we'll be in trouble. Oh, here, donkey. Here, donkey, donkey, donkey. Well then, the time for the presentation, what do you say? The minister would appreciate it if you direct your remarks to me. I see. Shyly? No, he's a terrible snob. Ah, excuse me a minute. Before we make the presentation, 
information, uh, could I just take you on a quick tour of the camp? How many men do you have here? Um, uh, one, uh, two... Only two hundred? You never fell out. Make like a crowd. Okay. Have you found the donkey? I said that. I'm thinking. That's all we need. What about? Remember that time we went to Blackpool? Which time in Blackpool? When you hired a donkey and it ran off with you and you went missing for a fortnight? Yes, I'm still sore. Where did you end up? Forget it, we've not got time to go to the south of France. I still don't know how it got across the channel. No, I mean, where did you end up after you'd end up in the south of France? Back in the stables in Blackpool. Exactly. So what does that tell you? It tells me I still don't think I should have been charged two weeks donkey hire. Well, I had to charge you, didn't I? It was my job. Besides, there's nothing to worry about. Donkeys never stray far. Forget about that. We've got to make this place look like there's 200 people here. What? Don't we know those two? Oh, I doubt it, madam. Uh, <coughs> they're new. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you appear to have a very busy camp here. Uh, well, we, we do have our moments. Yeah. He's got to be in here. It's the only place we haven't looked. <laughs> What's he doing in there? He's eating my trousers. Oh, thank heavens we found him. I better go and tell Sir. Make sure you don't lose him again. Hey, just a minute. Who are you giving orders to? You, I'm in command. Acting? No, serious. Come on here, you. You've caused enough trouble. Why can't things be easy for once? This is all very interesting, but I think we're ready for the presentation now. Yes, 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 of course. Um, uh, uh, tell me, uh, in the, the minister's line of business, I presume he gets given all sorts of presents. Indeed so. Yes. Tell me, has he, uh, has he always been without portfolio? Oh, no. He was Minister of Agriculture and Animals up until a month ago. Really? Had to give it up, though, on account of an extreme allergic reaction to animal fur. He was in bed for two weeks. Missed his holiday. Really? Swears that if anything on four legs comes anywhere near him, the person responsible will wish they'd never been born. We've got the donkey ready. Donkey? For the presentation. No, no. You mean the wrong key. Do I? Yes. You've got the wrong key to the cupboard that we're keeping the uh, minister's gift in. <laughs> Excuse me one moment. Yes, but... Lose the donkey. But we've only just found it. I don't care. He's allergic to animals. Just keep it out of sight. I don't want to see hide or hair of it to the end of the day. If you don't, I could end up with egg on my face and a nasty diplomatic incident on my hands. Right. Messy. What about the key? Well, forget about the key. Just get yourselves over to the cookhouse and, and act like cooks. Right. Here's, oh, and one last thing. Try and find me something to present to the minister. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. You've done what? Made sure the donkey doesn't disappear again, that's what. I've tied him round my waist with these chains, put a padlock on it, and thrown the key away. <laughs> I'd like to see how he's going to get out of this one. So would I. In fact, I'd like to see how we're going to get out of this one. Let me explain. The minister would like to know your name. Uh, Chuckle. Chuckle. And? Um, Private McEwen. Very private, McEwen. The minister knew it was a small unit, but he didn't realize quite how small. <laughs> Lose it. <laughs> I know. Bolt cutters. Anyway, we must move on. Hello. Hello. Aye, Aye, Chuckles. Aye. Aye. And McEwen? Nay, McDougall. Aye, McDougall. The minister is quite taken with the beret. For you. Aye. Oh, hang on. Here. Yeah. Right. Ready? That's it. Now we've got to do is find somewhere to hide him. Yes, but how? We can't go walking around with him everywhere. He might be seen. Silly, that's you, then. We'll play him in 
in here. Nobody will sit tonight. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. See you then. See you, Teddy. Oh, oh. That's got him in. But it's not sure, he'll be pleased. <laughs> and uh, these quarters are where you can rest for a while whilst I see to another cup of tea. Excuse me, Doug. Medical orderly. Oh, good. See you. Carry on. Carry on. Good man. <laughs> we pride ourselves on our medical orderlies. <laughs> um, the welfare of the, uh, the, 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 the men is, uh, is all important. I'm sorry, we've wasted quite enough time. Can we get on with the presentation? You've, you've had the presentation to Perry. Pardon? The minister thought that was a gift. I mean, the musical presentation. Pardon? This is the marching band school, isn't it? Is it? I hope so, or the day will have been wasted. One thing the minister loves is a good marching band. One thing he hates is time wasting. I see. Excuse me, uh, just for a minute. A marching band contest? Yes. Now, I know there's supposed to be a marching band presentation there, but that's miles away from here. Who on earth could have directed them here? And that's where I sent him, OK? Look, I might have done it in a, a roundabout way, but I sent him there, all right. You sure you haven't got this upside down? Well, what are we going to do now? I'm not sure about this, Paul. Listen, we chuckles never abscond. In the words of Julius Caesar, itchy verdi scampi sclot. What does that mean? Don't know, don't speak Latin. But suffice to say, where there's a chuckle, there's a way. Yeah, but that way usually ends up as a dead end. Thank <laughs> you. 